I'm Rosie Hardy. This is Rosie Hardy Gardening and today I'm going to be talking about a few plants in the Rudbeckia family and they range from something that is really tall to things that are slightly lower. Let's start off with the tall ones. This is a beautiful Rudbeckia herbston, really fantastic for the back of the border and as you can see it's way above me and that is how high it would get in your border. Beautiful clear yellow flowers with these amazing cones in the centre which are green and it is just a fabulous plant. Really good leaf, strong stems, holds itself up well, makes a large clump for the back of the border, looks fantastic against evergreens and it is flowering through the late summer into the autumn and really creating quite a stir. It's something that you can cut and use as a cut flower or you can dry the cones once they have dropped their petals but just a really super tall flowering plant. Coming down in size slightly and we have this beautiful one which has very hairy leaves and hairy stems which means that it doesn't get attacked by the slugs and snails and it is a slow to bulk up one. Now this is one called uh, Rudbeckia subtomentosa lufsva oh and I can never get the Burton Wheaton Gold. So this is a really cracking form. It tends to be quite narrow at the bottom, but going up quite tall. So therefore it'll fit into a smaller space. This one has the beautiful dark cone to it. So this cone starts off quite flat and then gets slightly more raised as the flowers go over so it gets bigger. A good strong colour, slightly smaller flowered than the herbston but a tall plant and really really cracking. And you can see the majority of its flower is held at the top. Occasionally it will have slightly smaller shoots like this but you get that first lot flowering and occasionally some later ones there. This one can be divided up but a really good middle of the border, strong stems, holds itself up. So that is Wheaton Gold. Now we're on to the slightly smaller ones and by that I mean ones which are for the middle of the border to the front of the border rather than for the back. So let's start with this short-lived one which is a really beautiful form that you can grow from seed. This is Rudbeckia triloba prairie glow. Really super plant that you can grow from seed, known as triloba because it has a fo the foliage is three pronged like this. We will show you a close up of this. Lots and lots of lovely small flowers. It gets covered. This particular one is orange with yellow tips and it's a really great thing. Lovely branch stems coming from quite a small base short-lived perennial only just over about three years from seed to flower in the first year normally and then flower for two or three seasons after that then the plant dies off and then you start again from seed so Rudbeckia triloba prairie glow one that is much much smaller and is of a newer breeding and this is in your typical Rudbeckia colouring, your lovely strong yellow and your black centre there and this one the, you can see that the petals are going round so it's a little bit like a parachute in the way that it goes over like that. This one is called Little Gold Rush and this is basically what height it is. So it's somewhere around about 30 to 45 centimetres with a base of around 30 centimetres. That's a foot to a foot and a half by a foot round at the base. Lots of leaf at the base here, hairy stems and leaves again, very strong stemmed, it doesn't need staking, easy to divide and a really good free flowering form for the later part of the summer and into the autumn. So that is Little Gold Rush. Then one of the ones which is the most likely form that you will see growing around and this is Rudbeckia Goldsturm. Goldsturm is a really strong almost orange yellow again with these beautiful dark cones and the cones start flat and going to being quite rounded 
and this one makes a really good strong plant really excellent for sun and to part shade but it does require a good moist soil to keep it going through a drier summer so that is the only thing that I would say about it there are other forms like the little gold rush which got a narrower leaf and they will tolerate the drier soils far better so again goldstone is divisible makes a really good plant holds itself up well and is a late season flowering perennial then you will notice I've got something slightly different, but this used to be called Rudbeckia purpurea. They are now Echinacea. I wonder how long it will be until the botanists decide that they'll go back to Rudbeckia. I didn't want to stir up a can of worms, but I probably have. So that is the odd one out. Thank you very much for watching and please do subscribe to the channel.